Good, so now let's talk about .NET standard and basically where does it come from? So like I told you, one thing which is a little bit difficult with the PCL and why I would say it's a kind of a stopgap or at least at some point it didn't really fulfill the expectations of the developers is this least common denominator approach, okay? So what I mean with that is that let's say if you start with a .NET project and let's say you add Windows 10, for example, and then you start developing, that's cool. But then suddenly you decide to add Xamarin to the mix and so you have a subset of APIs and so it's possible that suddenly your code doesn't build anymore, okay? Because you have used an API which was available in .NET, in the full .NET and in UWP, but not in Xamarin. So of course it's annoying. And also those profiles, let's face it, it was really super confusing, okay? I have to tell you, I felt super bad because I could never remember which profile is which profile. I have a bad memory this way. And now suddenly I feel a little bit less bad because I noticed that even Microsoft doesn't remember, so it's okay, right? So the .NET team decided I'm going to do something else. We are going to just, you know, start from scratch and think about cross-platform compatibility in a different manner. And so they decided to implement .NET Core. .NET Core is an implementation of .NET, okay? In the beginning, .NET Core 1.0, it was a very small implementation of .NET. They just had a, a few APIs, just what was needed to do a simple website and maybe some console applications, okay? So, but on the plus side, they were able to make it run on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, okay? So that was cool, without changes. So the main uh, usage for that was ASP.NET Core, okay, for 1.0, server applications like utilities, command line applications, these kind of things. That, that was pretty good. But again, we have the same problem as before, which is how do I know if I'm a developer what I can use in my project? Okay, I need a specification. I need to know, okay, if I want to use .NET Core 1.0, what can I use to program? And this specification is .NET standard. Okay, so you can say .NET standard is a specification which says in .NET standard 1.0, if your implementation covers that, you're going to have those APIs. If you have 1.6, you're going to have more APIs. If you have 2.0, you're going to have even more APIs, but basically that's the spec. And everybody who implements .NET standard, like for example, .NET Core, .NET Core is an implementation of .NET standard, one of many, Okay, then you know exactly, okay, in .NET Core 1.0, which supports .NET Standard 1.0, I have those APIs. And there are more implementations of .NET Standard, for example, Xamarin is one, okay, uh, UWP is one, and in a future version of .NET Standard, we'll also have WPF and Windows Phone, so basically the full .NET is also going the route of .NET Standard. Okay, <clears throat> so if you consider the .NET platforms today, the cool thing is that in every platform that we have, even in the full-blown .NET on the desktop with .NET Framework of, or UWP, on mobile with Xamarin, in the cloud with ASP.NET, ASP.NET Core, you can use .NET standard class libraries. Just like before, we were able to use portable class libraries. Exactly the same thing. And of course, all our tools, Visual Studio on PC, Visual Studio for Mac on Mac, of course, and Visual Studio Code, which is an open source code editor, runs on Linux, Windows, and uh, on uh, Mac OS, you can develop uh, .NET Core application, .NET standard application. 